I'm Adrian. I'm working on the Cosmos project. Uh, we're building a lot of scalability and interoperability solutions that I'm going to very quickly explain to you um, because we're working on a number of things at the same time, so I think a lot of people are confused exactly what we're working on. So I'll run quickly through the things we do. Um, so the first thing is consensus scalability. Um, so we work, like we've built something called Tenement Core, which is which uses Tenement consensus as its consensus algorithm. And it, it essentially allows you to, it's a extremely safe, Byzantine fault tolerant consensus algorithm um, that you can deploy today. The cool thing that it enables is for an application developer to build arbitrary applications on top of this consensus engine. So in the past, it was extremely hard to build your own blockchain. Most people went down the route, okay, let's fork the Bitcoin core code base and let's hack it around together uh, until we have something that we like. What Tenement Core gives you is the ability to just focus on the application logic that you want to write and then put it on top of this consensus engine that handles transaction relaying, the peer-to-peer -peer networking, how we come into agreement over blocks, um, but at the same time still gives you full control uh, over how you want your proof of stake to be implemented on top of this consensus engine. Uh, so what we do, we do everything as proof of stake. So on top of this consensus engine, we're implementing proof of stake, um, which is essentially just the economic guarantees around um, that validators don't start to cheat. Uh, and right now, the easiest way, if you, so there are different categories of people that um, for which we're building different kind of solutions. Um, so I will talk a little bit about people, I, about projects that have already built on the EVM and on Solidity Smart Contracts and what we have an offer for you. But if you're a new project or you, you're looking into, oh, I, I have this great idea, I really want to build this application as a blockchain application, the easiest way to get started is to use something called the Cosmos SDK. And the Cosmos SDK, you can imagine this as a framework, um, like a web framework really. It's a framework that allows you to build your own blockchain. It comes with a bunch of different modules. You can pull these modules in. Um, you can write your own modules if you want logic that doesn't exist yet. And so what this allows you to do is build Bitcoin in like 100 lines of code. So you can, because remember, like the only thing you as an application developer have to, have to do is write the UTXO set logic, nothing else. It's so like building Bitcoin on top of Tenement Core, it's maybe 100 lines of code, roughly. Um, and so this is for projects that are completely new projects and want to complete, can start from a completely blank slate. Um, then the next thing that we're building is called Ethermint. And Ethermint is proof of stake Ethereum. Um, we, it's an EVM, and we put that EVM on top of Tenement Core, and now we have um, a platform in which you can execute Solidity smart contracts at roughly 20 times the throughput of current Ethereum. Oh, and I forgot to mention this. So the really cool thing about Tenement Core is that you have instant finality within all blocks, and I know, Jeff, you will say it's not instant, but from an application perspective, it is instant because the application only sees the block once it's finalized. So a user only sees finalized, finalized blocks. Um, and so this gives you massive amounts of advantages, essentially having finality um, because you can build very efficient light client proofs so users can be fully secure and run light clients on their phones. So, what Ether, so this is Ethermint and there are different ways to deploy Ethermint. Um, either you, either we, well, eventually we'll end up deploying Ethermint as uh, this public network with a decentralized validator set. But if you want something like a consortium, like a proof of authority um, system, you can use Ethermint right now to deploy it as a proof of authority system um, with one or two validators, as long as you, of course, trust these validators. And yeah, this is pretty cool. This is completely Web3 compatible, so like all the existing tooling works against Ethermint. Um, MetaMask works against Ethermint. Mist works against Ethermint. Truffle does. Um, so like, if you already, if you're a project and you already have something uh, written in Solidity and would like to scale this in sort of either a POA network or your own proof of stake chain, 
Ethermin is really the way to go in my mind. But of course, if you start building up your own blockchains, the question always becomes, how do I actually get like my existing token holders? How do I get existing value into this blockchain? And this is why we're also building something called Peggy. And Peggy is the Cosmos Peg Zone. It's a two-way peg between any EVM chain and arbitrary application logic, essentially, and like and the Cosmos ecosystem, so like Ethermint. Uh, what what Peggy does, it allows users to lock up funds on Ethereum or Ethereum Classic for that matter. So like any EVM compatible, like any chain that's running the EVM. Uh, lock those funds up, they're now locked to the consensus of the peg zone. And so once the funds are locked up, the peg zone can create them and then other chains can start using um, those funds. Oh, and by the way, so you might be wondering like, how does this work? There's now like a separate peg zone called Peggy. Like how do I get those tokens into a separate blockchain, like my own application specific blockchain? Uh, the answer is called IBC, and if you're really interested in how that works, come talk to me later. But essentially, all the blockchains are light clients to each other, and we can do extremely efficient transfers of value between different blockchains. Um, and of course, you can always go back from, uh, from your own application specific chain and move through the peg zone back into Ethereum. Uh, currently, this is kind of slow, uh, not from Cosmos into Ethereum, this is pretty fast, but from Ethereum into Cosmos, it's pretty slow, so it's like not a low latency solution. Once Ethereum has finality, this will get a lot faster, but like currently we have to wait like 100 blocks um, to be actually like secure that we're not going to reorg on the Ethereum side. Uh, so that's the third thing. Uh, and the last thing is, okay, I'm, I'm just gonna call it now Tender Plasma. We decided on that name today. It's, so Plasma is this cool property that you can use some of the security properties of Ethereum um, and massively increase your transaction throughput. The current limitation with Plasma though is that because everyone needs to, because we make no assumption on uh, the consensus algorithm, on the safety of the consensus algorithm in the child chains. We need this ability to always hard exit back into the root chains. And with Tendermint, you can make a slightly different trade-off where you say, right, I have staking tokens and I can, and users can start staking them on the, on the root chain. And that staking informs uh, the validator set of my child chain. So that way I'm, I'm using the economic security from Ethereum for the staking and that informs my validator set in the child chain. The cool benefits are that it gives you the ability right now to deploy arbitrary application logic um, with Plasma. So currently Plasma is limited to UTXO sets because we always need the ability to hard exit. What Tender, Tender Plasma does as a trade-off, it says not everyone needs the ability to always hard exit because we have a safe consensus algorithm running the child chain but we'd still like to be able to move tokens from the root chains into the child chains and back. Um, so this is what Tender Plasma is. Um, most of this is available right now. It's still very rough around the edges. Um, but it, so uh, if you're interested, if you're like a dApp developer and you love the EVM and you love Solidity, then like Ethermin is the one thing you wanna go for. If you maybe want to build your own application logic, your own application specific chain, but you want to maintain security on Ethereum, then Tender Plasma is the way to go. And if you want to be completely standalone and just do your own thing, build your own blockchain, figure out your own security model, or reuse the security model of the Cosmos Hub, which I haven't talked about, then the Cosmos SDK is the way forward. Thank you very much. Yeah. Are there any questions around this? Repeat the question for the video. Oh, yeah. Cool. Uh, can I use Tender Plasma? <laughs> can I put an EVM on uh, Tendermint uh, Tendermint layer that is anchored to a consensus set on Ethereum chain? So the question was whether you can do ETH Tender Plasma, um, which essentially means the child chain is an EVM chain, and yes, you can. Uh, 
So, yes, how do you prove that the validators on the child chain did something wrong and slash this on uh, the main chain? So, within any uh, PBFT algorithm, like, so our security threshold is two thirds. So, um, if more than two thirds of the validator set colludes, then all bets are off essentially. But the way this works right now is that someone does a fault, so someone, a validator double signs a block. You can submit this proof, like this is inbuilt, this proof you can submit on the child chain, and then the child chain generates a message that can be interpreted by the staking contract on Ethereum to get it slashed. Um, once we have generalized fraud proofs, all of this will become much simpler in the way that we can just have frauds that are committed on child chains are being reported to the root chain and they're just um, interpreted on the root chain and then the slashing uh, happens there directly. Any other questions? Cool, thank you very much. Oh. Um, yeah, I have to think about how to repeat that question now. Um, it's so, uh, how do I phrase this? Is the, yes, so the question was whether the economic security is actually, so what happens to the economic security if you have a lot of child chains and currently you only stake, um, only the own, so like you're not leveraging the entire security, um, the economic security of Ethereum. Uh, you're right. Um, there could be future developments in which you periodically commit back to Ethereum some block hashes um, in order to bound yourself to it. Um, but yeah, currently the assumption is that if you are an application, you should have a relatively secure, uh, a relatively secure token um, that you use for staking. There will be future extensions in which you can uh, leverage the security of the Cosmos Hub, um, and that should go live in like two months, maybe three months, uh, in which you can, in which the Hub validators decide, like run your chain as well, and any faults on your chain are also slashable on the Hub, and in that sense you start leveraging um, another chain's security model. Cool. Thank you very much.